We have two schnauzers anytime that a delivery is made. There's excessive barking. Usually I'll end up having to break it up. Quiet, both of you. When we're out on walks, it's a little excessive with the pulling and the tugging and the excitement. I'm Colin. And my name is Ben. And we have two schnauzers. Anytime that a delivery is made or anytime someone drops off a package, mm -hmm. um, there's excessive barking. Usually I'll end up having to come into the room to break it up. Quiet, both of you. The other issue we have is, you know, when we're out on walks, it's a little excessive with the pulling and the tugging and the excitement. Okay, 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 okay. Calm down, calm down. Stop. So that makes you not want to do it as often. All right, so we're at the client's house. It sounds like there's a couple of schnauzers here. They're a little bit out of control. So I look forward to putting some tools and techniques in place to help this family create calm followers so that their life can be more peaceful. Let's go have some fun. I'm just hoping that we can get the barking uh, under control, the alerting, uh, the, the, the jumping on guests. We don't expect miracles, but if, if, if we just get a tempering of those problems, that would be wonderful. Hey, Brad. Hey, how are you, Brad? Colin. Good to Welcome. meet you. Good to meet you, too. Thanks for coming. Wow. So yeah. this is the deal. This okay. is them. Okay. Thanks for coming by and checking them out with us. All right, so tell me a little bit about what's going on with the dogs. Every time we have somebody come and visit, they just jump and bark, and their behavior is crazy and mm. not behave the way they're supposed to. Gotcha. How are the walks? The walks can be challenging. Okay. You know, I've got this leash that I found that will let me do two dogs at once. Okay. It it lets them run in and run out and forward and backwards and around and it spins and they get excited and out of control. Okay. So what it sounds like to me, this is a really typical case. The barking, uh, the nipping, the jumping, um, and the pulling on leash. Mm -hmm. They it all stems from one place. So I don't. I'm not going to deal with those individual behaviors as much as I'm going to deal with the state of mind. So let's just get to work and we're gonna create those calm followers and you're gonna see these behaviors go away. Okay, go for a walk. Let's start with a walk. When it comes to the walk, the very first thing I wanna address with you is the type of leash you're using. Um, I noticed you were using a retractable leash um, and what's gonna happen in that scenario is they're in front making their own decisions. They don't care about how you're feeling about the environment or uh, that you're able to protect them or, or control the environment for them. So what we're gonna ask them to do is walk next to or behind us. And we're gonna do that by using a shorter leash, just a regular slip lead that goes around the neck and gives us the ability to give them information. And that's gonna allow us to control their behavior whenever we pass dogs or we pass people. We're just gonna stay calm and confident we're gonna walk that way and if they do something we don't like we're just gonna give them a little bit of information that we disagree with that behavior we just a slight tug slight tug on the leash that's it let's do this okay so let's just walk in nice calm confidence you're gonna relax your right arm this is quite a difference already from what I saw earlier with the retractable the leash. retractable they were yeah. all over the place yep. so Hudson's given me a little bit of trouble He's trying to pull I in front, you yeah, see it? see the tension. So if I let him go, so I'm just gonna, uh-uh. Just a little correction, you see he backs right up, no problem. So that's me letting him know where I expect him to walk, what I want from him. So I'm gonna give you Hudson, okay. and you're gonna walk both of them. So okay. let's stop. Go ahead and get the sit, good. I wanna see you do both. You go. Nice. Good. How's that feel? Good? It's good. Okay, so we're gonna pass some dogs. I know that's been a bit of a, a challenge for you guys. So I just want you to stay calm and confident. And if you see either one of them start to pull or get excited, just give them a correction. If I feel it. Yeah. Assume your dogs are gonna do great. So we've got the dogs coming here. Just look straight ahead, stay calm and confident, and ignore. Look at that. Beautiful. 
Beautiful, that was awesome. How'd that feel? Great, they're doing better than they ever have. All right, so as we address the doorbell and the door knocking behavior, we want to stop the behavior before it escalates. So as soon as the door is knocked on, the doorbell is rung, and they get excited about it, we want to disagree with that state of mind. Remember, it's not the physical state, it's the mental state. So we're going to have um, one of our trainers ring the doorbell and knock on the door. And I've put leashes back on the dogs so that I can immediately, like one, I can block them from running, but also I can immediately give them information about how I want them to behave. Um, after we do this repetition, we'll take the leashes off and I'm going to ask them to lay in their beds and allow you to answer the door and let guests in in a polite manner. We're going to get there. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, all right, so once they knock, I'm going to immediately address the state of mind and I'll focus on the one that reacts the most. <laughs> Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Hey. So when you stop the one that reacts the most, you pretty much stop them both. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. So you see Chandler's actually looking for direction from you. Mm -hmm. Because he's not used to someone knocking on the door and there being information given. Ah, ah. So we block the running and jumping and barking at the door and all that. But right now we're only addressing the sound of the door and the doorbell. When someone walks in, it's a whole nother level of excitement, right? Sure. So what I want to do now that they know how to experience the door in this state is I'm going to ask them to be in their beds and experience the door in this state. So I'm going to put them in their bed. We'll have them continue to knock and ring the doorbell. Uh -uh. So now we're going to do a repetition where you stand up and you actually answer the door. Okay. And they have to stay in their beds and stay calm as the guest comes in. Okay. Go ahead. Come in. Yeah. That's pretty good. So they went from charging the door and barking and jumping on guests to staying in their bed because we disagreed with the behavior when their mind was at a level one instead of a level 10 and we gave them something else to do, which is to be calm in your bed. Make sense? Completely. So this is a much more uh, desirable way to have guests over, yeah? <laughs> Than jumping and nipping and barking and right. people retreating and... Yeah, this is way better. After the work we did today, what were the like behavioral changes that you really saw or were most impressed with? I think they were they were much calmer, and uh, they seemed to have uh, a better idea of what we wanted from them. I think that's key. I mean, before I didn't know how to do the walks because that leash was just the wrong thing to be using, and now when we were out on the walk earlier we were able to pass other dogs, pass squirrels running by, people, cars, and they just remained at my side instead of out in front of me. And it was just a lot more chill yeah. and calm. And more enjoyable. And totally more enjoyable. So now it's you not, want to walk them more. It's not a fearful experience to go for a walk anymore. I think they're gonna pull on that long leash and run out in front of a car. So, no, it was a good day. Well, thank you guys so much for having me. I really enjoyed working with you guys and with the dogs. Colin, thank you. Thanks, it was a great day. Thank you so much, Brad. Thank you. All right, y'all take care. Bye, thank Brad. You. Thank Bye -bye. you. Do good to